Welcome back. News Tonight continues. Now, the World Food Programme is devising all available options to ensure that the fight against malnutrition in Karamoja and support to available refugee settlement is achieved. Let's hear more in this report. Yeah. So it, 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 is, it is a little bit thick. While the Food Programme Country Director Abdurrahman Maygag has pledged continued support to the Karima Jong in the fight against malnutrition and poverty. We want to focus more on enabling the Karima so that they depend on themselves as part of the government development plan. So I'm very much pleased, although this today is my second day in Karamocha, I will be visiting more projects in the next two days, and obviously we will try to see wherever we can enlarge and scale up, particularly livelihood programs. While we still continue the school feeding program, in Karamocha there is a success story where we buy food from small holder families and put that food into the school feeding program. WFP is providing support and capacity to Andre Foods International to scale this up across uh, the region. Global acute malnutrition rates put the region at 11% post COVID-19 lockdown with the World Food Program determined to curb increase through various avenues. So we are appealing that these people still need assistance. They need to be helping. They need to be directing towards the development. We just want to continue supporting and together obviously we could make a change in Karamocha. The area has also during the COVID-19 pandemic realized increased stunting attributed to prolonged drought as a result of insufficient rainfall. A survey that was conducted where stunting rates are reaching back close to high levels of over 40% uh, within the region. Uh, as we know, stunting is critical in the first two years of life and if this is not reversed, has severe implications for the future. With the schools reopening imminent, the Feed the School Children project will be upped, but this time through interventions like buying from locals to boost their livelihoods. While the food program has been at the fore of such programs benefiting more than 130 recipients in an effort of strengthening government's health system. Report compiled by Yusuf Obo.